Hey guys, it's Chili Z, and I wanted to do a follow-up video. I had done a video on tracking your time, and so now I want to do a little bit more around some time management strategies, tips, tricks, things I use to kind of manage my schedule and time. Um, most of you know that I try to be organized, but I have <laughs> lots of challenges in that way. But I do find that for me to get anything done, I have to have a schedule and stick to it. And so I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you what I do, and it'll be a several video. I'll put links to the other videos. So for those of you who feel incredibly overwhelmed, um, your to-do list is so long, you don't feel like you can get anything done, or you're super, super busy and you're running around all over the place, and at the end of the day, you don't feel like you made any progress or got anything done. Um, you know, we all have this, the same 24 hours. And it's really what you do with it that determines your future. And I think that we get into the, the busyness of things and the checking off things and the doing of things and then a lot of time wasting things and we're not getting done the things that really matter, that really move us towards where we want to be. So in this video, um, I did the video tracking your time, where does your time go? And in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of tips and tricks and there'll be a couple other videos about that. Um, about goal setting and about um, tools and systems I use. So here's some tips that I think are really important when it comes to um, planning, prioritizing, and organizing. Um, once you decide what needs to get done, um, ways and systems to support that to make sure you're doing the right things. So I highly recommend you need a calendar. I don't care what it is, but you need a calendar. I also suggest an organizer. An organizer is going to have all your um, to-do list, um, your um, information, project work you're doing. Um, it can have customer information in there, but something that you either carry or have in your phone that is you that you're using to organize activity outside of um, calendars. So a calendar is really going to be the month view or day view or whatever, and time bound. Um, then you have all your to-do list and other activities that may not have date specific items for that. Um, something that works well for some people is to create a routine or schedule. So let's say, for example, we do like training Tuesdays. So you could have Monday through Sunday and then every day be a theme, or you can take day one to 31 and then have different times or the first week of the month you do these things, second week you do these things. I know a lot of the leaders use um, a calendar that activity way. And so it helps determine what they're going to do. Like maybe it's a callback day and they call all their customers. And then maybe one day is a team day and they're calling all the people on their team. So the theme of the day determines the activities and tasks that they would do in the day. Um, for me, I have a couple of days like Training Tuesday. Monday is always the director call. Um, so I kind of plan around those activities, but I don't my, my schedule moves around in the things I'm doing, so I don't use schedule and routines other than on Tuesday is a learning day for me because I'm doing that training. And if I don't do the Cincy training live, I try to pick up something um, during the week. Um, learn to say no. Now, this is a really big one. Um, you need to say no to all um, unimportant things and distractions. And I'll get more into this in a different video about um, unimportant. But I'm talking about the phone, the text, the email, Facebook, the time suckers. Say no to those. And then I'm also talking about activities that pop up. A friend calls to go do something and it really doesn't fit with what your priorities are and it, and it needs to be something you say, no, not today. Can we do it another day, right? Um, the other thing to think about is time boxing of activities. So what you're going to do is you say, okay, I'm going to make customer calls for 30 minutes, or I'm going to do the Sensi training for the next 30 minutes, next hour, and time box it. Turn on your timer on your phone, or you can get one of the old timey timers or on your microwave or whatever, and set the time. When it goes off, you stop. Now, sometimes you can be in the middle of a deep thought or you're brainstorming or something like that. Allow yourself five more minutes to wrap it up, but you have to keep to the schedule because then it's going to push the other activities for the day unless you've blocked off the whole day for brainstorming. Leave time in between activities. Sometimes we are racing around so fast or we're trying to do too much and we don't have any breathing space. We don't have any get up and walk around the room space or grab a cup of coffee space. So make sure you space just a little bit of time when you're scheduling activities. 
Um, you also want to time block. So the other one I was talking about was time box, about boxing off, I'm going to do this for this long. Now time blocking is more talking about, um, I'm going to do these things with my family this week. I'm going to do these things with my friends this week. So you take the things that are most important and you put them on your calendar before anything else goes on. And then you schedule the other things around that. Um, for those of you guys who know, I love Franklin Covey systems and everything. And so that's the whole idea of the big rocks. You put the most important things in first and then you can schedule the others. Um, keep a master to-do list. I think it's a great idea. I have to write them down. Um, keep an idea list. So like when you're brainstorming and things like that, have a place where you go to like keep list and things like that. And for me, um, I write it, but if it's write it or type it or whatever, but you need to get everything out of your head. It needs to be in one place, not on sticky notes all over your wall, downstairs, upstairs, at the office, at the school, in your car. It needs to be in one place, an organizer. And it can be stickies, but it needs to be all the stickies need to be in one place of the things that you're doing and what you're doing. So I make a lot of lists. That's how I think it has to come out. And so I make a lot of lists. And so really keeping it in one place. These are some real quick tips. I'm gonna do a couple other videos so this doesn't go on forever, but just starting out with taking one or two of the tips and seeing if you can apply it to your schedule or your um, calendars, I think are really helpful to get some control of your schedule so that you're deciding what's important and what you wanna work on. I hope it's helpful. Let me know what tips and tricks you have. I can't wait to hear them. Comment below and I'll talk to you later. Have a great one.